In 2021, C Limited's share price plunged, losing 87% of its valuation from $360 to $44. However, by the first quarter of 2023, C-Limited had recovered from its lowest, with its shares currently priced at $80. I'll be breaking down the roller coaster ride of C-Limited into three parts. First, I'll be talking about the rise. How did C-Limited's share price skyrocket more than 9x in less than two years from $38 to $360 in the fourth quarter of 2021? Secondly, why its share price crashed 87% in 13 months. Third, has C Limited addressed and rectified its biggest problems now that its share price has improved from $44 to $80? If this video helps, I would appreciate it if you smash that like and subscribe button. We aim to break down complex financial topics into easily understandable bite sized videos. Let's go! Before I explain why C Limited's share price crashed by 87%, let me provide some context into their business. C Limited's business is categorized into three digital entertainment, e commerce, and digital financial services. Their digital entertainment division is popularly known as Garena, C Limited's gaming division that produces PC and mobile games. They have two types of games those that are produced in house, such as Battle Royale Free Fire, and games that are produced by third parties, such as League of Legends, which Garena helped distribute globally. Their e commerce division is Shopee. You can think of Shopee as C Limited's dream to be the Amazon of Southeast Asia and beyond. Shopee grew aggressively, establishing its presence in Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Taiwan, Vietnam, just to name a few. Lastly, Shopee's digital financial services include services such as Shopee Pay and SeaBank. Financial services in developing countries like Indonesia needs to catch up and by offering aggressive interest rates of 7%, allowing users to open a bank account without visiting an offline branch, and allowing users to take loans digitally, Shopee's digital financial services is seen as a breakthrough. So, why did C Limited's share price skyrocket? Let's open up the numbers. From its IPO in 2017 to November of 2019, its share price grew two and a half times from about $15 to more than $36. And their stock price grew even faster in the next two years, growing tenfold from about $36 to almost $360 in November of 2021. At its peak, C Limited was valued at $200 billion. And in 2021, C Limited was the second best performing stock among companies valued at more than $100 billion behind only Tesla. Its stock's extraordinary rally was driven by several factors. First, their income went from $414 million in 2017 to $827 million, $2.2 billion, $4.4 billion, and $10 billion in 2021. That is just an absurd growth rate. Achieving 2x on a million dollar business to two is a feat on its own. Can you imagine doubling your revenue from a billion to two, from 4.4 billion to 10? And they managed to double their revenue every year for four years in a row since 2017. During their rapid growth, C Limited also had a relatively reasonable margin during periods when the mantra of startups was growth at all costs. In 2017, their net loss was 135% or minus $561 million. 2018, they improved to minus 116%. 2019 was minus 67%. 2020 was minus 37%. And 2021 was minus 21% losing $2 billion compared to its $10 billion revenue. C Limited was on a clear path towards profitability. As a context, Goto, Indonesia's most prominent tech juggernaut, which also did e-commerce and also digital financial services, and was also the result of the merger of Gojek and Tokopedia, was losing 495% in 2021, a year before Goto's IPO. Yes, they do have their differences. Goto did not have a gaming division and C Limited did not have ride hailing. But C Limited lost just 21% versus Goto's 495% in the same year, clearly showing a stark contrast between the two companies. So, how did C Limited achieve this level of efficiency? 
The answer lies here in their operating income. Garina's operating income was $70 million in 2018, $530 million in 2019, $1 billion in 2020, and $2.5 billion in 2021. This is C-Limited's cash cow. And because of this, C-Limited could use these proceeds to finance their aggressive investments in e-commerce, Shopee, and their digital financial services. The ability to self-finance their investment in e-commerce, Shopee, and digital financial services, Shopee Pay, and Seedbank is an exciting prospect for investors. C-Limited expanded rapidly to more countries like Europe and Latin America. The thesis was, if Garina continued its growth, it could reinvest its proceeds into these other cash-burning ventures and also acquire colossal market share without ever needing to fundraise. Again, this was a stark contrast to their competition. Gojek Tokopedia was burning through its cash balance, losing 495% in 2021 and depended heavily on fundraising to finance its growth while scrambling to achieve profitability. The growth of Garina and Shopee was also fueled by the COVID-19 pandemic. Lockdown policies forced people worldwide to spend most of their time at home. People stopped going to the restaurants with friends and families, they stopped going to the movies, and also stopped traveling. And without these options, spending money on online games became one of the main alternatives for entertainment. Now, moving on to the second part of the analysis, after such promising growth, what made C Limited's share price crash from an all-time high of $360 in November of 2021 to $44 one year later, plunging almost 90% and wiping $166 billion in market value. There are three reasons. First, the world began to recover from the pandemic at the end of 2021. People started hanging out, traveling, eating outside, and going to the movies. So when the lockdown was over, there was an immediate trend reversal. Spending on online games suddenly plunged as life returned to where it was pre-pandemic. Secondly, from a macroeconomic standpoint, 2022 was an incredibly challenging year because of the war between Ukraine and Russia, which is also on top of COVID-19. The US was forced to print $5 trillion to counter the pandemic, the largest amount in recent history. And when there is an increase in money supply, inflation occurs. And this is on top of the inflation that was caused by the war. And when inflation occurs, the Fed increased its federal funds rate among the fastest in recent history. And guess what is the first thing that people cut when times are tough? Spending on online gaming. Third, in February of 2022, the Indian government banned Gorina's games, including Free Fire, their most popular game. Their reasoning was national security concerns because the Indian government believed that the data was sent to servers in China. The policy impacted not only Gorina but other games as well. In addition, their distribution rights to one of their popular games, League of Legends, ended in November of 2022. These three reasons caused a drastic decline in C Limited's cash flow. By Q4 of 2022, their digital entertainment bookings are down by 50% year on year, their quarterly active users are down by 26%, and the quarterly paying users are down much more by 39%. This means fewer people are playing their games, and among those who play, there are even fewer willing to pay. Automatically, when the cash cow declined, their net loss drastically increased. In the second quarter of 2021, if we look at their adjusted EBITDA, they only lost $24 million. But in the second quarter of 2022, the adjusted EBITDA ballooned to minus $506 million. The primary driver was the decline of Garina's adjusted EBITDA from $740 million in the second quarter of 2021 to $336 million in the second quarter of 2022. This is the reason why C Limited's stock price plummeted. This declining cash cow means that the thesis of Garina being able to finance whatever investment was required for the growth of Shopee and Shopee Pay proved to be false. C Limited lost $931 million in the second quarter of 2022, representing a minus 32% compared to a positive 19% in the fourth quarter of 2021. Eventually, Shopee was forced to slam on its brakes, closing Shopee in countries like Argentina, Chile, Colombia, Mexico, India, France, and Spain. 
Fast forward two plus quarters, C Limited have shown signs of recovery, climbing almost 2x from its low of $44 to $80. Specifically, there was a 21% increase in share price in one day after the release of C Limited's 2022 annual report. Has C Limited finally addressed and rectified its biggest problems? Let's take a look at their most recent performance. First, the third quarter results surpassed expectations. Their annual year-on-year -year gap revenue improved 17% from $2.7 to $3.2 billion. And even though the adjusted EBITDA is still negative, investors appreciate the improvement as C Limited lost $374 million in Q3, a 34% reduction from $570 million in Q2. Second, the fourth quarter results exceeded Wall Street's expectations. They managed to book a positive EBITDA by a vast margin. From losing $357 million in Q3, C Limited managed to book almost $500 million in adjusted EBITDA. This was due to revenue improvement and tremendous efficiency from e-commerce and its digital financial services. From the revenue side, the primary driver is e-commerce, which contributed 60% of total revenue. Their e-commerce division increased by 11% from $1.9 billion in Q3 to $2.1 billion in Q4 of 2021. Interestingly, the gross orders decreased from $2 billion to $1.7 billion, which either means a ticket size increase or Shopee basically increased their platform fees. From the cost side, C Limited had a complete overhaul to substantially reduce spending. C Limited has laid off over 7,000 employees or around 10% of its workforce. These tech layoffs have increased in Southeast Asia over the past few months, and other spending control include decreased future commitments on office space and also logistic facilities, and also tightened travel and entertainment policies. Finally, C Limited accelerated cost saving initiatives in their business operations, and those initiatives slashed $750 million in sales and marketing expenses from Q4 of 2021 to Q4 of 2022. And to give you more context, in Q4 of 2021, sales and marketing accounted for almost 40% of total revenue. And in Q4 of 2022, it decreased to nearly 15%, which is almost three times lower. Let me share more specifics. Shopee meaningfully scaled back marketing expenses, especially around shipping and subsidies. At Garena, C Limited are now focused on running its existing key franchises like Free Fire as efficiently as possible. And Garena is taking a more selective approach to developing and launching new games to prioritize the highest potential titles in their pipeline. Finally, at C Money, C Limited deprioritized the offline adoption of Shopee Pay and is further diversifying funding for their credit business across multiple sources via the e-commerce ecosystem. Most tech companies, including C Limited, are accelerating their path towards profitability because gone are the days of growth at all costs. And recently, after their Q4 results, C Indonesia just laid off 200 more people, with rumor saying it could impact 500 plus people. With their current initiatives and efficiencies, supported by the release of their new mobile game Undone, which is an open world game for zombie, will C Limited reach their profitability soon. What do you guys think? I hope this video has explained the roller coaster ride of C Limited. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys again in the next video.